You will subscribe. Hey guys, welcome to another tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you the best way to install mods for Kerbal Space Program. First things first, you need to download a program called CCAN. Now, of course, that stands for the Comprehensive Kerbal Archive Network. CCAN is a program that can be used to download install and update Kerbal Space Program mods from a huge repository. And it has another cool feature that I'll go into later. The program is on GitHub. So to make it easier, I'm gonna link directly to the file. This means when you click on the link, you should just download the file as opposed to having to try to find a download button. The program doesn't need to be installed. It should just run directly. The first time you run the program, you'll be given a prompt asking you to point to your game install. If you don't know where your install is, then right click on Kerbal Space Program in Steam, go to Properties, Local Files, and then Browse Local Files. This will show you where your directory is. After you've done this, it should try to update its repository. This is normal, just let it do its thing. To install a mod, you simply need to check the mod or mods that you want to install. Don't worry, you'll be notified if they're not compatible. Then click Apply. After you click apply, you'll be brought to a change set tab. This will show you the mods that you're installing. There'll probably be more mods than you selected because the program automatically adds the mods dependencies. And if you're used to modding, this will be a game changer. Then click apply again. You may be given a list of mods with the option to add them to what you're currently installing. These are simply recommendations. Some mods go really well with other mods, but aren't necessarily dependent on one another. The mods will now automatically download and install. Once they've installed, you should just be able to launch the game and play with mods installed. To uninstall a mod, simply repeat the process, but instead of checking the mod you want to install, you uncheck the mod you want to uninstall. And to update your mods, simply check the update option and click apply. Finding the mod you want is super easy because you can search by the name of the mod, the author of the mod, or a keyword in the description. You can also filter the mod list by compatibility, which means you will only be shown mods that are compatible with your game version. And now for the feature that I mentioned earlier. This is something that blew me away. You can import and export mod lists. This is useful when you're experimenting with mods or simply want a backup. So if you're like me and you have 30 different mods installed, there's no need to have a notepad with a list of all the mods. You simply export your mod list and then if you have a new install, just import them and they all install all at once. It's a dream. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you found the video helpful, make sure to like the video, subscribe to my channel. And if you have any recommendations for any more tutorials you want me to make, just leave them in the comments. And of course, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. I'll do my best to answer them for you.